Hi everybody, uh, this is uh, my actually my second motor test of the day today. Uh, after all the Christmas rush cleared, I got a big bunch of uh, goodies from Banggood a couple of days ago. And uh, today's uh, could be the only chance I get to fly for a couple weeks with uh, some more wintry weather moving in. So this motor I'm testing on this uh, flight is the Brother Hobby Returner R2 uh, 2205. 2800 kV motor. It's a pretty big, pretty big name for such a small motor. But uh, anyway, um, I picked this up on sale uh, from Banggood and uh, RC Plane Pirate did as well and he got his a couple days before I did and he's already done a bench test uh, video of it so I'm going to um, uh, link that down below because uh, his numbers are uh, thrust wise anyways are, are far more reliable than mine would be on the bench. Uh, it's a it's a for a tiny little motor. It's actually the lightest motor uh, I've tested thus far it only weighs 40 grams with you know prop hardware mount all that sort of stuff so super light uh, but just unbelievably uh, powerful. I'm just uh, amazed at uh, how powerful this little motor is. Uh, so anyway, I just gave it a quick whiz with my watt meter here uh, just before this flight and it pulled uh, about 34 amps. Um, uh, on RC Plane Pirates video, he pulled a little bit more than that and was up around, I think, 1100 grams of thrust on 3-cell with the same prop, 6x4 EPC gas. So, uh, yeah, just uh, unbelievable uh, little beastie here. So, anyway, let's uh, give her a thrash and see what she does uh, in the air. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's really a small motor, you know, size-wise, with only a, a 2205 stator, but I think this is an example of, uh, of KV making up for, uh, you know, for lack of motor size, or high KV, I should say. Sorry, it looks like the fog is starting to roll in again here, so let's hopefully get this flight done without, uh, without losing the plane. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's 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 actually amazingly uh, uh, torquey, you know, even though it's a pretty tiny motor. But like I said, I think the high KV is making up for its size. Because <laughs> I mean, it's it'll climb. I don't want to go too high there. I'm going to lose it. But you know, it's it'll climb out. I think pretty much all day without any without any trouble at all. Even though you know, uh, it's relatively small. I mean, compared to the other uh, 2205 motor I tested from RC Timer, um, this one's definitely uh, got a lot more torque and power. <laughs> Even though it's, uh, it's so light, I'm just amazed at the, at, the, at the power this little beast produces on three cell. I couldn't. I just couldn't imagine what it would produce on uh, four cell. It would be kind of scary. <laughs> so it has pretty thick. Uh, the wires, the wires wrapped around the stator are a little bit thicker than um, than some of the other uh, motors that I've tested. So uh, I'm not sure what. Um, what the max amps are. Um, when you watch uh, RC Plane Pirates video, he couldn't uh, he couldn't find them either. They weren't uh, published. But but I would imagine you could probably you know 40, 40, 45 amps. I don't think this motor would have too much of a problem with that. Uh, you know, obviously I'm not gonna be able to tell today. It's about uh, right on freezing zero Celsius, 32 Fahrenheit. You know whether there's <laughs> any heat buildup. I would definitely run it with a 40 amp speed controller on three cell, though, at least with this prop. <laughs> B-U-T. <laughs> All right, so time to bring her in and land. So one thing I will say about these smaller 2205 motors that I've noticed between this one 
and the uh, RC timer uh, 2205 2551 is that um, when you do when you chop the throttle they don't hold their sort of their energy and their torque quite as much as like the bigger ones like you know 2305 2306 uh, 2207 and higher, you know, that sort of thing, uh, probably just because they're so small and, you know, that little, uh, the little bell on the motor there is probably so light. It's not, uh, you know, it's not really generating any sort of flywheel effect there at all, but, uh, yeah, just, just amazed, you know, a little 40, I mean, I think it's 28 grams before you put all the, before I put all the, uh, the, uh, the corruption on it with the prop and all the hardware. Um, and, uh, you know, 40 grams in the plane, like I said, I think by two or four grams, it's the lightest, lightest motor I've tested so far. And, uh, really, really just, just amazed. It's a really well-made motor. Um, the, you know, when you look at the bottom of it, the magnets are all curved, uh, you know, and the tolerance between the magnets and the stator is really, really tight. Like when you spin the motor by hand, you can feel you know the magnets wanting to grab but it doesn't feel bumpy you know like if there's too much space between the magnets when you spin a motor like the old NTM 2836 uh, 2700 uh, the big beastie motor when you spun that it felt really bumpy and when you look at that there's really quite a wide gap in between each of the magnets but uh, this one is uh, really really smooth so yeah um, like I said I don't remember the exact price but I did uh, I did get it on sale and uh, really uh, you know, really, really impressed with it. I wouldn't say it's uh, uh, top end speed. It's probably pretty close, uh, you know, in the ballpark of the uh, Emax 2306, 2750 and the RC Timer or the B-Rotor uh, 2207, 2780. Um, but it, uh, even though it has a pretty good torque, I don't think it's as torquey uh you know as those two motors but uh you know if you're looking for something seriously light i mean this thing punches way above its weight uh you know for motor weight compared to power uh just just unbelievable so uh there we have it folks the brother hobby returner r2 2205 2800 kv uh quad racing motor uh really uh really a super little rocket motor for uh for its size so um <clears throat> anyway uh like i said there'll be uh uh, one, I didn't actually do a first impressions bench test on this because I just got it a couple days ago. So I'll have a blog post uh, supporting this video as well as links to uh, RC Plane Pirates uh, video on his bench testing. And I'll, what I'll actually do is I recommend you look at, uh, he tests the 6x4 uh, uh, APC electric and then right after that the gas and you'll be ab absolutely amazed uh, at the difference in uh, in power, increase in power and drop in amps. It's, it's really uh, unbelievable. But anyway, um, you know, you've heard me uh, go on and on about this 6x4 ABC gas prop now for quite a while. It's uh, definitely my current favorite prop. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, blue skies, uh, we're starting to lose ours now with some fog coming in. Uh, calm winds to everyone and park jet noise. The other sound of freedom, baby. Take care. <laughs>